Hello, my friends. Uh, welcome back for another video. Um, excuse the weird angle. I'm kind of, well, I just finished my walk, but I'm kind of wandering around and I'm kind of shooting this handheld right now. And I'm just enjoying the peace right now. I'm completely alone in this park that I love to walk at. And I'm just enjoying the, uh, no, just the, the the scenery, the ducks, the, it's a bit colder today, but you can see that the signs of spring is coming up where, you know, the snow is melting and uh, the trees are starting to bud. And uh, well, uh, of course, for this time of year, the the male ducks are fighting for each other for the right to mate with the females. So uh, that has been kind of interesting and fun to, funny to watch. Um, I, I missed it when, you know, I, I've been taking some clips that you saw of, of during my walk and I kind of bummed that I missed this, but there was two male ducks that had, uh, was fighting, but they were, it was like they were chasing each other, but they were, they weren't flying, but they weren't swimming. They were kind of walking on top of the water and their wings were just kind of windmilling each other to keep themselves over the water a little bit, but still kind of running. It was just, I'm not explaining it right, but I wish I had gotten out my phone to record that because that was one of the best I thought it was funny it was it, it just kind of made me think of like a uh, you know a Charlie Chaplin old silent film or something like that I don't know or uh, maybe uh, Marx Brothers or something but uh, it was really funny to watch but it, I'm, I'm just really appreciating this day because it's just so beautiful it's quiet and I'm being distracted because I thought I heard some people but I'm being paranoid so don't pay attention to me but uh because it's awkward to do this talking to a little phone here and if somebody sees you it's like really embarrassing and I have difficulties talking and all that in the first place. And this is not a natural thing for me, but, uh, so I just I have to ask that you forgive me if I do get drifted off, but it's just making me think it's a lot of us celebrate like on Janu January 1st and see that as a we look on that day as a, a new point to start, as a a day of renewal, and in a way it is, but the true day of renewal, well, is actually every day, every day when the sun rises, it's, it's a new point, a new renewal, and seasons that with spring coming this is another renewal and so we just shouldn't take every opportunity that we can to use this these points to learn and release what happened yesterday and make the efforts to better ourselves today and one of the things that's really been bothering me lately is the sense of entitlement and prejudice that we have in our world today. And most of it stems from, uh, <clears throat> well, the entitlement is easy to see that a lot of, a lot of people are so used to being given things and by their parents and 
they don't want to take responsibilities for themselves. Sad thing, but the, the other thing that is just, just seems to be overwhelming our world right now is prejudice, hatred. And it, that just stems from hatred and fear, clouding our judgment, clouding our emotions. And, you know, it, it, and it's really sad right now. We, and we all have some sort of prejudice and I'm guilty of it too. I don't prejudice, have any prejudice against anybody who, for their color of their skin, for their gender, none of that. I think that should be celebrated. I think your culture should be celebrated. That's something of pride. That's something we should love and learn from. But in our society today, we are prejudiced against those that we have prejudice against those who do not look the way that I th we think we should look and and that's one of the deals that really it, it, it you know judging people by what clothes they wear what are they a name brand label why and for me i just don't understand it i was like why are you wasting your money on making somebody else rich when you could get the same thing for much cheaper I never understood that, but if people are breaking their backs, they are bankrupting themselves to make these people rich in order to have these things that has their a specific name on it. And so, or drive a specific car, shoes, people are paying a thousand dollars for a pair of shoes that you get get for much cheaper and it, all because it's got some athletes name attached to it or somewhat whatever and and if that's for you that's fine i I'm, I'm not well i did sounded sound very judgmental at that moment and i apologize for that so but i just don't understand it and but whatever whatever makes you happy that's fine but we should not put down we should not discriminate we should not look down our noses on people who do not agree with you that uh, have the same viewpoint as you one thing that I, and i i don't judge you for any of that well i did just <laughs> like i said i did judge a little bit but i i don't hate you guys for it i just don't understand it like as like i was just trying to say however a lot of people are um, one thing that i am guilty of being prejudiced against is against well th this is kind of two but i kind of lump them together and that is politicians and the media all i see right now is all the harm and the hurt and the suffering that they cause and i i lump them all together i see absolutely i'm blinded to only see that there is absolutely nobody good in politicians in, in politics nobody either at the federal level in congress and our president to our governors to our mayors to our legislators i just everywhere i look i see just corruption greed no compassion for others and this is not based on uh, parties 
It's in all, it doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or Republican. It's, it's a sad time. And that is my prejudice. Because I am blinding myself to, there's so many people that are politicians and there's got to be some people who are out there that are actually have the well-being of the people in mind who want to actually do some good and help but i can't see that right now i need to change the way that i think and try to open my eyes and see okay maybe it looks bleak but there is some good people in there and it's the same with the media the media and the politicians are working together to instill this fear in us to drive our hate and it's really sad and I only see the media as a very bad evil institution that is only they don't have a damn one care for us all they care about is their ratings and their money and as I say that, like I said, that's how I see it. That's how I believe. However, like that said, I said, it is another sign of my prejudice. I, there's got to be some good people in the media who really wants to tell the truth to get the proper information out and not try to influence the information, twisting it to for their own greed is what I'm trying to say. So that is two things that I need need to work on. Though I, like I said, I do kind of lump them together as one. And if I'm making you dizzy, I'm so sorry. I'm just kind of fidgety and this kind of dancing around I guess just kind of trying to talk to you and I am um, standing in this gazebo thing and uh, probably should have done this sitting down or something because I've been having a lot of problem with my left knee it's really painful so I keep shifting my weight weight around so if I'm making you dizzy I'm sorry uh, but uh, Back to the point of what I'm trying to make. And I'm getting distracted all the time. So that maybe. But back to what I was trying to say. That those are two things that I need to work on. Those are two things that I see as my prejudice. And there's a third one. And I think every single one of us is guilty of this. Is we have a prejudice against ourselves. Especially if you're watching this and you're like me and you've suffered from depression for so many years. I, it's hard to let go of that hate that I had festering inside my, inside myself for so many years. It's hard to let that go and to love myself. And I do love myself, but sometimes it just kind of creeps up that hate that sense of not being, that sense of being worthless. And, and that is a, a, a sort of prejudice. It's a prejudice against yourself. And this is the end of February. Spring is starting and we need to use this opportunity to grow to better ourselves, to forget our fears, to forget our hate, our pain, and better ourselves, to learn to love everyone no matter what. And I do love you guys, but I do have to work on it when it comes to media personalities to 
celebrities to politicians. I, they are, I, I see nothing good about them really. And I need to change that because there are good people there too. So I hope you take this moment. Maybe if I don't, it didn't make any sense right now, I'm sorry. This is something that if I felt in my heart that was something I needed to get off my chest. Because we're all guilty of this and I, I, I have my own, like I said, I have my own that I need, that I kind of feel ashamed of because I'm, I've got my blinders when it comes to those things. So take this moment, think about it, analyze the things that you place judgment on, that you judge others for, and see how ridiculous th that is, why you shouldn't do that and have a little bit more compassion for others and for yourself. You deserve that compassion. And if one thing, one person that deserves your per c compassion is yourself. I am the hardest on myself. I could be really mean to myself. I could be, say the nastiest things about myself and Hopefully, I can learn to uh, overcome that and let it go. All right. Well, I'm going to end this video here. Please hit that like button. Help me grow this channel. Leave a comment down below on on what you think of this this um, video. On what I we were we've been discussing in this video. Uh, Chill me out if you want to for making you dizzy by spinning around and getting dis distracted. And uh, just encourage each other. You know, just, let's just, so leave a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe and share with your friends and your family. Anybody that you think that might enjoy watching this, Maybe someone that this video could cause to kind of think about their own actions, their own, their own worst sides of themselves. All right. Another way you can help support this channel is to visit my website at www.jbaileyphoto.net. That is where I sell prints of my photography so if you need to decorate or something purchase a print it'll help pay for gas and repairs and equipment and all that stuff so i am so grateful to all of you thank you so much for watching thank you for all your support all your kindness and i am grateful to all of you take care of yourselves and i'll see you in my next video goodbye Thank you.